Hey there, how's it going everybody? I'm Rob Reap and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I realized it's been far, far too long since I uploaded a video for you guys and just wanted to, uh, to let you know what I've been up to these past few months and that I'm going to be working to try to get some more YouTube videos on uh, online as soon as possible. It's a little chilly here in South Arkansas this morning and I'm walking to work uh, and that's part of what I want to fill you in on. So come with me and uh, let me explain what I've been up to for the last half year. Welcome to the Rob Reap Studio in Warren, Arkansas. So glad you were able to stop in. Before we go back and I explain everything that took place to get this thing, get this this studio going, uh, let me just let me just tell you what we are because we're not a pop-up gallery. Uh, I know some of you who saw our video from 2018, uh, December of 2018, uh, noticed that we did have a pop-up gallery at that time. That's not what this is. This is a permanent. Uh, studio space and um, so it's 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 a very different endeavor uh, cost a lot more money and uh, we're 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 just really proud to have it but first of all let me just let me just tell you what it is so we've got the the upper portion of the of the building is the front portion of the building is all art gallery space um, we came in here and uh, and and really revamped this entire space this was an old um, jewelry store uh, from uh, it hadn't been occupied in about 20 years so it was it was it was needing some TLC and we were able to, to come in and and really you know go in with our with our hands and fix this place up but the upper portion is all art gallery space I've got a lot of work to do to fill up these walls so the bottom half we're, we're getting close on the bottom half I intend the upper portion that you can see back here I intend for every bit of that to be full with, with art uh, within the next six months to a year. That's my plan. I'm, I'm hopeful that I can get that done. It's going to take a lot of hard work, but, but that's, uh, that's the joy of, of having, uh, having an art gallery. So then, here in the back, we've got, we had this, this odd space. Um, we had an office, uh, which is where I, I and my father who, who work in here, and my, my mother and my wife as well, we all kind of have this, this office space uh, off to the side. And then the other half of, of this midsection of the building, we really didn't know what to do with. So what we decided to, to actually put forth uh, was something that our community didn't have, but yet still fit in with an art gallery. And it was something that we thought we might know a little something about how to run because we traveled so much, we've been to so many of them. So we threw in uh, a gift shop, a local gift shop that includes some, some um, uh, local artisan goods as well as uh, uh, goods produced off of my art. So we're selling uh, greeting cards, we're selling um, blankets with, with uh, my paintings on them, we're selling uh, pillows, throw pillows with my paintings on them, and our biggest item of the year that we're selling in our gift shop this year, uh, we've started a tradition here at the Rob Reap Studio. We are selling a, an annual uh, Christmas ornament that features my top painting of the year, which this year it was Engine 123, a painting that I produced here in the studio of a very famous local landmark, the Warren City Park train. So we're really excited about the gift shop. That's been a, a big, big um, uh, help for the bottom line here at the Rob Reap Studio. It is, it's done a, done a fantastic job for us. We're selling some uh, cheese straws, the soup mixes and dip mixes and uh, candles, all kinds of fun gift, gift type items. And uh, it's, it's been a unique, a unique addition to, to, the, to the gallery itself. And one of the things that I like about, about the gift shop that I think uh, has has really added to the to the ambiance if you, if you if you would say I guess the ambiance is the right word here um, a lot of times when I would go and travel to um, to other art galleries uh, big art galleries okay like nonprofit art galleries places like that 
uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of the one in uh, out of uh, out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, that's, that's so famous and the name is slipping my mind right now. I'll try to put that in the description below. It's a wonderful art gallery. Um, but they all have gift shops. And so this, this gift shop has almost created the, the mood here that this, is, uh, that this is almost a museum. And that's what we want this place to be, the gallery here. We invite people, of course the art is for sale, and we've sold some art. It's been, it's been successful. Uh, in fact, I had to actually, we, we early on, uh, we noticed that we had a little bit of a problem. Some of my smaller pieces were selling so quickly uh, after we first opened up that we were, we were running out of paintings. And uh, so we've, we've been able to, to rebuild the stock and get, get new paintings on the wall, but uh, that's been a good problem to have, you know, selling art. That's, that's every artist's dreams, not just to be able to paint it, but to be able to sell it. Um, but the gift shop has added has added that that little touch to the to the studio that that I think uh, really really sets us apart uh, from from a lot of other art galleries. I, I do I do enjoy running it. It's it's fun to to uh, with with each season at least so far that I've noticed we've only been open a half of year, but I, I've really enjoyed the process of being able to to uh, search out wholesale items, pick out what products we're going to sell season by season. And for 2019, we've got some really cool things lined up. Uh, of course, our, our annual Christmas ornament is a really big deal to us. That's been our biggest seller so far. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to keep that local, at least for the time being. That's going to be a very local uh, painting. But uh, it's still a Robrick Studio annual Christmas ornament. And we, we're, we're wanting to grow that and, and really make that a thing here at the studio, but we've got some other plans for 2019 that I think, uh, I th that involve my art, that I, that I think are going to, to be successful, and well, hopefully that's what, we, that's what we intend for it all to be. Also in the gallery space, this front portion of the building, uh, we, of course, most of it is taken up by the art gallery itself, uh, but also in this little corner, I've got my studio, uh, which just consists of an easel, hoping to add another easel soon but also uh, a tabaret. Uh, this tabaret, I couldn't afford a, a really expensive tabaret, so I actually ended up um, repurposing a piece of furniture for this, and I'll, I may do another video about that uh, in the future, but um, glass palette top uh, tabaret, huge, love it. It's like one of the best things I've ever done for, for myself in terms of, of, of my art career. It's, it's, it's just a really special, special uh, palette that I, I, I feel really connected to. I think partly because I, I, I did build it uh, or at least repurposed it. But, but my tabaret, uh, my easel space, that's my studio space. And one of the things that I do enjoy, a lot of people like to come in while I'm painting. They like to watch it. And it's actually, it's actually uh, grown into uh, several different art sales. So people have come in and, and they've seen me painting something and they felt so connected to it that they, they ended up coming back to buy it later, which, which was a tremendous, tremendous thing for me to be able to, to translate uh, someone just watching me paint to, to actually selling, uh, selling that painting. And any time we can sell art, that, that is a good thing. The entire back portion of the building is what I would consider storage slash studio space. So I don't do any painting back there other than my art classes. We do have our art classes in the back. Uh, we can host about 15 students uh, at a time. Uh, we've been doing those once a week. Uh, I'm probably only going to to do those maybe maybe twice a month uh, here with within the uh, the beginning of the new year, but uh, the art classes have been tremendously successful for us. Really, really have been been a, a, a solid a solid investment. Uh, of course, we've got a lot of equipment we have to buy for art classes, but overall, it's still a still a great investment uh, for the studio. Also, in the back, I've got all of my equipment. Uh, that I use for framing, for cutting panels, uh, because I am making all of my own panels now. Nothing is, all, n uh, unless I purchase my, my canvases, all of my canvases are actually purchased uh, from Masterpiece Pro, but my panels themselves are actually all uh, cut in-house, primed in-house, and I do all that in the back portion of the building. We've got a little bit of storage, but that's the entire back, well, basically th one third of the building uh, is, is all all storage slash workspace is what I would what I would actually call it, uh, and then our art class space as well. But that's sort of what we've built here. We've I've gone in. Of course, uh, I'm not working with any galleries at this time. Any outside galleries outside of Warren, 
Uh, I do have a strong online presence now. Uh, my, my Facebook page is growing. Uh, I'm selling art uh, through my website. I'm, I'm selling other items through my website, which is really, I've, it's really opened the doors for me a lot about what all I can sell, and, and maybe I'll do another video on that as well. Uh, I, I haven't done so many videos in a while. I'm planning on getting that back going for you guys. And, uh, but, but there's, there's a, a plethora of products that you can produce from your art that are not just prints, okay? Um, and that's, let me clear up, one thing that, that I wasn't doing when I was uh, on YouTube uh, before, uh, I wasn't producing any prints of my artwork. Uh, and I'm still not producing a ton of them. However, I have opened the door to actually uh, actually having prints made. We carry a few of them here in the gift shop. Uh, everything in the gallery area is 100% original. Stuff I painted, worked on, everything in the gift shop. There's no original products there. Well, they're original, but they're, they're reproduction prints. We're selling greeting cards. We're selling prints. We're selling ornaments. We're selling pillows. We're selling blankets. Uh, and we've got more products coming in the, the year for the new year of 2019 that we plan on selling uh, in our gift shop. So that's what we're up to. Now, let me explain how this all came about. So I believe the last video I actually uploaded on YouTube was, was about my trip to Mexico, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, but uh, I think that's the last communication you guys had from me on YouTube. If you've been, if you've been following me on Instagram or Facebook, then you are probably already totally caught up with everything I'm about to tell you, but that's okay. Uh, it's still a it's, it's still an exciting story, and I like to I like to retell it. And for those of you who haven't heard it, this is what happened. So, it was about a week prior to my trip to Mexico. Um, a building became available in or or near the city city of Warren here in South Arkansas. I. I've dreamed of having a gallery space for a long time. Of course, I had the December pop-up gallery in 2018. Um, that went well, but I wasn't totally sold on the idea that a, ga uh, that a gallery space, that investing in one was a great idea for me. Uh, I actually walked away from that, that, that process, even though I sold a lot of art, I sold some of it pretty cheap, and I, I, didn't, I, I wasn't sold on the idea that that was gonna be feasible. But, of course, those of you who, who, follow, who follow me on, on other social media know that I also own an online newspaper here in, in Warren uh, that, that is a very successful business. Uh, and so we had offices located in another part of town. We had two small offices, really, uh, that myself and my father occupied. And we needed a larger space. So when this building became available, uh, I got the idea uh, just before I did that video on Mexico uh, back in the spring, I got the idea to actually um, go take a look at it and maybe move not only our newspaper offices to this building, but also maybe open up a little side gallery. We got there, building was very nice, it was, it was excellent. The location just wasn't right for us, and that was the biggest hang up for me. The location was not what we, what we needed. Uh, the price wasn't exactly quite right, to be honest, of what we were looking for. Uh, it was a little, little expensive compared to what we thought we could afford at the time. So we kind of walked away, stepped back, didn't really think about that for the next couple of days. Uh, but by that point, of course, you know us artists, we're dreamers. And you put something in our heads and it, we almost, I, at least for me, I can't let go of it. Once I get it, it's just, it's there and it's, it's either... I've either got to be totally broken or I've got to have it. I've got to, I've got to, to make this thing happen. Uh, so by this point, I'm dreaming, I'm dreaming big. I'm dreaming gallery. I've got to have this thing. We've got to make it work. Uh, and uh, that building just wasn't right. I knew it wasn't right, but we got to find another building. We've got to open up, move our offices for the newspaper and open up a gallery. Luckily, I had the tremendous support of both my parents and my wife. And so we embarked on a journey over the next few days to try to find a building. The building that we're currently in uh, had not been occupied in two decades. And it was a former jewelry store, very nice jewelry store when I was growing up here in Warren. And it wasn't for sale that we knew of. But we knew it, it had not been occupied in a long time other than for storage. And so we contacted the owner and said, hey, would you be willing to sell it? Would you be willing to sell it? And if so, can we take a look at it? Um, the, uh, the owner was very obliging, set up an appointment with us. We, we came down, checked it out. 
Uh, we knew the building had good bones, but it was in uh, it was in rougher shape inside, and we needed to, we needed to do some things to to spruce it up. Uh, and we we finally decided to go and uh, of course have the ins have an inspection done and figure out what it was going to take to actually renovate this place, get it ready for us. And, and once we did that, we made an offer. And after a few little bits of negotiation, it was ours. And uh, the 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 best thing in the world is I had a terrific terrific patron who supports my work uh, and I, I don't want to I don't want to say a name here because uh, this person uh, means a lot to me and they just I, I just can't ever thank them enough but I don't know I don't know that they would want their name public but uh, a very very amazing patron of mine that, that has supported my artwork for so long uh, came in and just said look um, I can I can help you make this happen and uh, I had I had enough money that I knew I could pay pay the pay the building out but this person came in and said, look, we'll just make it happen. You'll own the building outright, and you can, you can go ahead and start renovating. So that's what we did. We, we believe it or not, we, we walked into this place and, and started to work on it uh, within the next uh, month. It took about, I came back, I knew, I knew from the Mexico trip it was going to take a while. So uh, we, made, we got the deal working, it happened, and over the next month, we were kind of in a waiting pattern for everything to go through at the bank, and then... At that point, once it was ours, uh, we decided it was time to come in and, and, and get to work. Um, I put a lot of sweat, tears, blood, everything else that goes into renovating a building into this place. Uh, I, just sweat equity, really. Uh, we did hire, uh, we hired, uh, of course, professionals to come in and do all of our electrical work. Every single light bulb was totally replaced uh, with, with art gallery grade lighting. Uh, energy efficient lighting as well and I mean you know, we don't have we don't have spotlights it's, it's not high high grade uh, museum uh, art, art gallery lighting but but for us it works okay um, and, and it's it's it works very well we know that these these light bulbs have like a I mean they've got a long lifespan on them so we shouldn't have to change them for the next 20 years hopefully which is a big deal to us um, and after that, we painted the walls went with a nice neutral gray up front. Uh, of course, uh, I needed needed a tabaret, so I went and I couldn't afford one of the big tabarets, like I said earlier. Uh, I went and found an, an old piece of furniture, uh, an old dresser, and repurposed it, put a nice glass uh, top on it, which is my palette, and uh, that was my tabaret. And so I've got my studio space, I've got my gallery space, and then this, this big gift shop. And we opened up in July, which which was a tough uh, a tough month in in some ways I think to open up for a small business. But um, unfortunately, we missed. There's a huge festival here in Warren every year, uh, the second weekend, full weekend in June. And I want to invite you all to it. Uh, if you've never been to the Bradley County Pink Tomato Festival before, come on down again. the The second full weekend in June every year, guaranteed rain or shine, it's going to happen. Uh, and we just missed that being open, but we did own the building at the time, so I already had some art on the walls. We had already done some painting of the walls, finished that up. We just couldn't quite get the building ready totally in time for, for that, but we did, we, did, we did already have a presence for that festival. We did miss it as well. Uh, so this is going to be our first year that we're actually open for, for the Pink Tomato Festival, a festival that brings in a tremendous amount of people, uh, which we hope to be a big money maker for us. But in, in July, we opened up, I believe it was July 12th, I'll have to go back and look, but I uh, may be wrong about that, don't hold me to that, that exact date, but it was in July. And ever since then, I've been painting, we've been stocking the gift shop, growing that, and just getting settled into this wonderful, wonderful new studio and gallery space. Uh, so that's the story. <laughs> I know it was a long one, I appreciate you guys for listening in. Uh, let me tell you what I'm up to here in the future. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get a video out each week. That's what I was trying to do before, was trying to get a video out a week, and I think I kind of burned myself out a little bit. So I'm going to, I'm going to scale that back. I'm going to maybe try to get one out a month. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'm a busy guy these days. I've got a lot going on, but um, I haven't forgotten about my YouTube fans. I just thank you guys so much for sticking with me. Truly do appreciate it. Um, if you would like to check out my new website, because I do have a new website, 
uh, you can check it out at robreapstudio.com. Again, robreapstudio.com. Not all of the paintings are online yet. We're still working on getting everything uploaded, uh, and that takes a lot of time when you're trying to run a gift shop and an art gallery and paint and run a newspaper. Uh, but that's how you make money. You got you to stay busy. If, you, if you're not working, you're not eating. So um, thank you guys, though, for stopping by. Come back to the YouTube channel soon. Hope to have a new video out. And uh, just appreciate you sticking with me. Have a great day. God bless.